let's do it. The best new features of the M3 MacBook Pros. Starting off with high power mode. High power mode used to be relegated to the 16 inch MacBook Pros with a max processor, but with the new M3 series, you can now enable high power mode on your 14 or your 16 inch MacBook Pro when running the M3 Max chip inside. This will help you get even better performance by turning the fans up to a whole new level. Price point. Apple has dropped the price substantially on the 14 inch MacBook Pro. Apple has gone away with a 13 inch MacBook Pro instead introducing a new version of the 14 inch MacBook Pro that starts off with Apple's M3 processor. You get a ton of benefits compared to the old 13 inch MacBook Pro for a very similar price. Of course, there's Apple's M3 series of chips. Apple is using a new 3 nanometer process for the M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max. Notably, the M3 and M3 Max are showing huge gains over their prior generations. The M3 Pro starts off with a 12 core CPU and an 18 core GPU, though you could always max this out with a 16 core CPU on the M3 Max and get up to a 40 core GPU. There's a whole lot to talk about with the M series chips, so I'm not going to get into it too much, but there's a bunch of benefits here, including dynamic caching, next generation GPU architecture, hardware accelerated ray tracing, and of course, just overall performance boost. I'm really excited about the N3 Max because we're seeing a four core boost on the CPU and two additional GPU cores. It's just pretty impressive. The space black color. The space black color is so cool, and this is probably the first time in many years that Apple has introduced a new color to the MacBook Pro line. Apple used to have just silver and space gray, now we have silver and space black. Apple even says they have a special coating on the outside that'll help resist fingerprints, and honestly so far it's a huge difference compared to Apple's midnight colorway found on the 13 and 15 inch MacBook Air. Of course, the new space black color also comes with a color matched space black MagSafe 3 to USB-C cable. I love this and they even sell this separately. So if you have another version of a Mac that uses MagSafe 3, you could pick up this new black charging cable. It's pretty dope. Memory. Apple now has a new 128 gig option for those running the M3 Max processor and looking for a lot more memory. Apple also has boosted what it was for the M2 Pro. The M2 Pro used to cap out at 32 gigs, but the new M3 Pro can go all the way up to 36. Then we have the brighter display. Apple has not changed the display all that much. It still basically looks like it was before in the same resolution, but the brightness can now go even higher. Apple says new standard resolution content or standard dynamic range content, just looking at your screen, is now 20% brighter. It can go all the way up to 600 nits, whereas before it capped out at 500 nits. So an additional 100 nits of brightness, which happens to be the same brightness as Apple Studio Display. So if you have a MacBook Pro and a Studio Display sitting side by side, they will now have the same level of brightness for their content. So that's it. Those are the best new features on Apple's all new. So that's it. Those are the new features on Apple's new 2023 M3 series of the MacBook Pro, the 14 and 16 inch. If you're interested in any of these models, there are links for them down below in the description. Even though these are brand new, we started collecting some of the best deals that we can find on them. So go ahead and check those out. Otherwise, stay tuned. Have a lot more videos coming your way.